This week, find out how a viral TikTok helped start a petition against a racist TV segment, which legendary kids TV show is getting a new spin-off series, and which soccer player made history. You can catch all this and more here on The Lookout. Ming-Na Wen will receive a star in the prestigious Hollywood Walk of Fame for her work in television, the Black Eyed Peas for recording, and Jason Momoa and James Hong will each receive a star for their work in motion pictures. Earlier last year, fellow actor Daniel Day Kim began the campaign for Hong's nomination process, raising over 55,000 for the necessary funds. While these actors and musicians are already beloved figures in the industry, they will now forever be a part of Hollywood's history and legacy. Megharaja Gopalan, a BuzzFeed News correspondent, is among the journalists to win the Pulitzer Prize for International Reporting, giving the news site their first Pulitzer. Raja Gopalan and her team members wrote investigative reports exposing an infrastructure of prisons and internment camps secretly built by China to detain hundreds of thousands of Uyghur people in the Xinjiang region. They were praised for their courage and innovative use of satellite imagery and 3D architectural simulations. A petition is calling for changes to James Corden's notorious Spill Your Guts or Fill Your Guts segment saying that it encourages racism as it portrays common Asian foods such as balut, century-old eggs, and chicken feet as punishments for celebrities who otherwise have to answer personal questions. Activist and artist Kim Syver started the petition after posting videos to TikTok and Instagram, criticizing the segment, getting millions of views, and sparking conversations. Mindy Kaling will both produce and star in HBO Max's highly anticipated Velma, which has a new take on the iconic character and cartoon. This week, the streaming platform released more details about the upcoming show, stating that it will have no dog and no van, both of which were Scooby-Doo staples. Kenji Kamiyama and Joseph Chow will respectively write and produce for the new Lord of the Rings anime prequel film, The Lord of the Rings, The War of the Rohirrim. The upcoming film is meant to fill the gaps in the franchise based on author J.R.R. Tolkien's writings of the early history of Rohan and is intended to have a wide theatrical release. SNL star Bowen Yang will lead Audible's latest comedy podcast, Hot White Heist, with stand-up legend Margaret Cho featured in the all-star cast. Streaming now, the six-episode action comedy follows a group of queer misfits working together to try and steal a U.S. government sperm supply, collected from some of history's most prominent figures, which the ragtag group plans to sell on the black market in order to buy an island they can transform into a queer paradise. The Vietnam-produced film, Dad I'm Sorry, surpassed the one million mark at the U.S. box office this week, making it the first Vietnamese-produced film to do so. Starring, written, and co-directed by Tran Tan, Dad I'm Sorry is a comedy-drama film centered on a man who makes sacrifices daily to keep his dysfunctional family intact. Madame Gandhi released a documentary-style music video for the song Freedom that shows the artist's definition of the word with emphasis on mental, physical, and spiritual well-being. Inspired, Gandhi reworked the single with co-writer and producer Track Girl, which was originally created for Spotify's EQL campaign for women's empowerment in music. This week, the World Taekwondo Demonstration Team, who were originally invited to perform at the Tokyo Olympics, wowed the America's Got Talent judges with their audition, complete with board breaking, choreography, intense showmanship, and strength. The team's performance even impressed the show's host, Terry Crews, so much so that he gave them the infamous golden buzzer, guaranteeing the Taekwondo team a spot in the live shows. South Korean soccer player Son Hyun Min became the first Asian player to be a part of the English Premier League's Team of the Year. The history-making player also scored 17 goals, the most scored by any single member during the regular season. That's all for now on The Lookout. Tune in again next week for another recap of the biggest headlines in AAPI entertainment news. 